All right, we're cutting hay again. Yep, there we go, we're cutting hay. And if you can tell by the noise, oh, we got the 7210. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Y'all know I've wanted to cut hay with this tractor, but, um, so I'm doing it. Um, I was not the one that got this tractor to, on the disc bond. I had to go help a neighbor unload about 850 square bales. They weighed about uh, 60, 70 pounds each. My arms are wore out. Um, but, hey, I got paid. So, I'm glad to do it. But anyway, enough of that. So then I, co I come back to the I come back to the house, and I find I find out we're cutting the neighbor's hay here. Um, there's this tobacco patch over there. Uh, that's a hay field. This is a hay field. That's a hay field over there. Uh, there's another hay field around these trees. Gosh, Hold on. Um, we are down to disc bind. Um, when I was on my way back here to take over for my dad, who was mowing with this, my uncle also was heading down the road I was on, and he had the 5425 and the new, the newer, newer style disc bind, the 2001 model. This is the old one, 98 model. And it's weird how it's still going. Um, but there's a seal messed up on it. Uh, he didn't really go in much detail what, about what it was. Um, there's a seal busted on it. So that one's down. Um, which, I mean, it ain't really that bad because these fields, these fields back here ain't that big. I, mean, I don't know how many acres are here. I don't know how many acres we have to cut back here for him, but, but oh well, but I'm just happy I get to cut with this tractor, um, because like I said before, uh, I think I've probably said this before, but we used to bale hay with this tractor, and when we weren't baling, and we would unhook it from the baler and put it on the disc bind, on the disc bind. Hey, I just like, I just love this tractor. It's a six cylinder, it's two wheel drive. It's got a quiet cab. It's got a real good radio. We can pick up any, almost, almost any station. Um, and it's just got plenty of power. 105 horsepower is what it's rated at. So yeah. It's hard to film and run one of these things with one hand. Um, so yeah, we're just cutting right along. Here we go again. But, I, but one thing's for sure, these fields are plumb rough. But uh, once we get the hay off this, uh, it'll become a pasture field for um, his cows. He's got about 29, 30 head of cows, uh, beef cows. So yeah. I don't have a GoPro. I don't have my GoPro, but... Uh, So you won't get you won't get any of those videos, but I don't I don't really know why we're cutting the hay today. Um, there's about a 20% chance of rain tonight, and then clear tomorrow and hot, and then Monday it's supposed to rain. There's a 30% chance of rain. So I don't know what my uncle's thinking about cutting this. I mean. We don't get any of the hay. Um, the, the neighbor here will just pay us for making the hay and whatnot. Uh, used to, we do it on the halves. We get half the hay, he gets the other half. But, no, oh well. So, once I get situated here, 
Easy now. Uh, I still have to do my backlash or backlash. And I still got to do that little land right there. That's all we're gonna put down because, like I said, rain, 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 rain. Which I'm not gonna complain. I talked to a farmer up around the Lexington, well, the Shively, somewhat. Uh, it's east of Louisville, over near Lexington, about halfway from Lexington, Lexington from Louisville. And they're in a minor drought. And it's weird. Louisville's about 50 miles away from Elizabethtown, and we're fine. Uh, we're not under a significant drought, or so they say, according to the monitor. But Louisville and southern Indiana and all through up through Cincinnati, I think, has a, is under a minor drought. So... That's weird because I mean, knock on wood, we have uh, we have had beneficial rain. Uh, sometimes I wish it would just slack off a little bit so we get some work done. But hey, the crops are in the ground; they're growing. Uh, we have started. Uh, well, my uncle has sprayed corn, uh, sprayed Roundup over top. Uh, we have all of our corn side dressed with nitrogen. So the corn's really boosting up. Um, I think he's going to hopefully start on spraying soybeans here soon. Soybeans are up. I know I haven't got a video about, about them, but I'm going to try, I'll try to. I'm hopefully going to get one sometime soon, but we'll just have to see what happens. And I don't know if you can tell right there, but my finger hurts. I think I got a piece of hay stuck in there for something. Check, check. A piece of hay stuck in there. I don't know if you can tell or not, but. So, anyway. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And, uh, hay season is about to wind down. Um, at least for first cutting. This is all we got left of first cutting. Uh, it's back here for the neighbor, and then the alfalfa is probably another, our alfalfa is probably a week, week and a half, two weeks away from being second cutting. Um, and then some of the first fields we cut is coming back real nice. Um, so, yeah, life is good. Life is good. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, catch y'all in the next one. Whatever it might be.